So let's talk about time zones or how we calculate time. How we calculate time. Now we do this based on longitude. Longitude. Okay, so all the times in the world, and we know that different places in the world are different times. This is all based on their location on longitude. Now we have these things called time zones so that areas are on the same time. Now you can see we've got our eastern um, states here. We're all running on the same time. That's very useful. Northern Australia, South Australia, same time. All of Western Australia is running at the same time. China is one big time zone, but Russia has got quite a number of time zones there. Okay, you can see how Europe gets broken up a bit. United States of America and Canada have a number of time zones as well. Okay, so you know, areas will then run on the same time, but what they are based on are your lines of longitude. Now on, on this other document, I've got here a bit of a rough guide to those times. Now we sort of think of time, we calculate time from our Greenwich Mean Time, from our Prime Meridian, and then those locations. We've also got to remember that the days start opposite to the prime meridian, you know, roughly where that international date line is. Our days start here, so they're the first part of the day, and then you know, it goes through the day, through the world, and then the day finally finishes over here. So we're going to look at how we calculate those times. So times are calculated from the prime meridian. So that's called Greenwich Mean Time, GMT, or UTC, Universal Time Coordinated. Longitude is used to find the local time, as longitude measures the degree from the prime meridian. So we think about places being either behind or ahead of Greenwich Mean Time. Okay, so if you're organizing something that's you know, around the world, we we might put it into Greenwich Mean Time and then you know, locally it's like plus or minus so many hours from there. So 15 degrees longitude is one hour time difference. So for every 15 degrees for longitude, there's one hour of difference there, one hour of difference. For every one degree of long longitude, this is four minutes time difference. So you can see they are linked there. So 15 degrees is one hour and then one degree, so that breaks down to being one degree is four minutes time difference. If we move east, the time increases. Traveling west, the time decreases. What I mean here is that you know, if we are you know, noon prime meridian, we'll be one o'clock here, and we might be eleven, and we'll be eleven o'clock in the morning here. My little my other one might illustrate that slightly clearer. That one there, you can see, okay, that prime meridian noon, then the next 15 degrees is 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 3 p.m. Okay, then it keeps on going either way. So places located to the east of the prime meridian 
have local times ahead of GMT. So we are ahead of Greenwich Mean Time because we are east of the Prime Meridian. Places to the west are behind Greenwich Mean Time because they are, you know, there's Greenwich Mean Time, they are to the west of it. So they are later in the day than that Greenwich Mean Time. We are ahead. To the east, they are ahead. To the west, they are behind. So, as we move west, time effectively goes backwards and has a negative. If we move east, time goes forward and has a positive. Okay, let's do some problems with this. So, Eileen lives in London. Now, that's Greenwich Mean Time, but is away on holiday at a location with longitude 135 degrees east. What is the time difference between her location and London, Greenwich Mean Time? Okay, so Greenwich Mean, mean uh, London, we've got to remember, is zero degrees longitude. Longitude. Okay, so she's at holidays 135 degrees east. So the time difference is nine hours, is nine hours because 135 divided by 15 is nine hours. So there's a nine hour time difference. Now, because she's east, and not west, this means she's ahead of London, okay? She's ahead. She's nine hours ahead, not behind, ahead. Now she will be able to call home when it's 1.10 p.m. London time, Greenwich Mean Time. You know, that might be the time when it's convenient for the person she's calling. What time will it be at her location? So, because she's nine hours ahead and it's 10 past 1 p.m., that means for her where she is, she's going to be 10 past 10 in the evening. So a bit more de detail about the time zones within Australia. Now, because Australia is you know, a fairly large continent, we have a number of time zones. So Australian Eastern Standard Time is Queensland, New South Wales, ACT, Victoria and Tasmania. And we are considered to be that 10 hours ahead of Greenwich Mean Time. We've got Australian Central Standard Time, which is the Northern Territory in South Australia. Now that is half an hour behind um, Australian Eastern Standard Time. Australian Western Standard Time encompasses West Australia and that's two hours behind Australian Eastern Standard Time. Now this is all ignoring um, daylight savings because sometimes Queensland doesn't go into daylight savings um, so that confuses things but we'll they're just the standard time zones now usually we just think about um, our times with regards to longitude so when we are looking at things so there's been recently Olympic Games happening in Tokyo in Japan and where they're located, they are, you know, I'll say, you know, roughly, you know, 20, well, they're an, they were sort of an hour behind us. So that means that in terms of longitude, it's 15 degrees behind, okay? It is useful to know though, like the rough times, it is 
within our country. So looking at these time zones, this means in Western Australia, it is two hours behind Queensland or Queensland is two hours ahead of Western Australia. All right. So you know, when they put television shows out or, or football matches, you know, they have to be aware of all the different times in the different places. So from the 2017 Northern Hemisphere exam one, this is a question three, so still fairly straightforward. Which of the following pairs of cities has the largest time difference between them? The largest time difference between them. So we've got Belfast, which is 55 degrees north, 6 degrees west, and Johannesburg, which is in South Africa. So that's in Ireland, that's in South Africa. 26 degrees south, 28 degrees east. Havana, which is in Cuba. 23 degrees north, 82 degrees west. And Lagos, um, 7 degrees north, 3 degrees east. Um, that's, can't quite remember now. I think that's in Africa. Um, Helsinki is 60 degrees north, 25 degrees east. And Manila in the Philippines, 15 degrees north, 121 degrees east. Malang, 8 degrees south, 113 degrees east. And Rockhampton, which is in Queensland, 23 degrees south, 151 degrees east. Moscow in Russia, that's 56 degrees north, 38 degrees east. And Atlanta in United States of America, that's 34 degrees north and 84 degrees west. Now, we have to remember here that we're only looking at the longitudes, aren't we? Because that's the time difference. That's the time difference. Okay, so let's look at these. So six degrees west, 28 degrees east. So that time, that um, difference in longitude would be 28 plus six. So 34 degrees. So Havana, 82 degrees west. 3 degrees east, so the difference there is 85 degrees. Helsinki is 25 degrees east, and Manila is 121 degrees east. Now, these are both east. Before, these two were west and east, so I added them up here because they're both east, both on the same side. So to find the difference between them, I take them away. So, so that'll be 96 degrees difference. Okay, so here they're both east. They're both east. So we've got here got here 113 degrees east, Rockhampton 151 degrees east. So the time between them is so 1 151 take 113 So that's 38 degrees and Moscow and Atlanta. Now Moscow is 38 degrees east, Atlanta is 84 degrees west. So we have to add them, you know, because you've got to think it goes, you know, thinking back to our map 
38 degrees east to 84 degrees west. Okay, that's the difference between them. 38 plus 84. So that's 122 degrees. So that makes E the correct answer. So that's how we find them.